But today we are going to D1 mold and tool, and I've got to get some measurements off the diecast machine. designed the prints for in yesterday's episode. Now this die cast machine makes castings like this. This is a 22 caliber pellet gun that's belt fed which is actually a retrofitted model from Tittman paintball guns. This is a 98 custom. Now the company D1 Mold actually makes the molds that make these castings and they also do plastic injection molds which Pretty much anything you've ever owned that's made out of plastic is made like this. For instance, your phone case was injected into a mold that is made from a company like D1 Mold Tool. So today you're going to see, you know, how the majority of anything you've ever owned is actually mass produced. So this is the uh, die cast machine that I'm designing the hood scoops for. I've got to get some more accurate dimensions on it and uh, complete, complete the blueprints and then head over to a sheet metal company to talk to them about some specifications because uh, one of these hood scoops is going to be up to a thousand degrees uh, and we want to make sure it's structurally sound. All right, so Tony Dungan, the uh, owner of D1 Mold and Tool, is in a client meeting, and he was in one the entire time we were uh, out there doing dimensions on the diecast machine. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you D1 Mold and Tool today, uh, but I will be back here tomorrow and hopefully be able to show it to you then. Uh, right now, I've got to get home, print out the prints that I made, and take them to a sheet metal company to get them verified for structural integrity for the 1,000-degree uh, heat so they don't uh, you know, fail. All right, I gotta get these prints printed, but uh, I don't have a printer. Well, I do, but it's it's right right there. All right, sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, they close in 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna bother them. Uh, so I've got about 700 gigs of video footage to edit and upload. So I'm gonna spend the next nine hours editing video. And then tomorrow, we're gonna head to the fabrication company, talk to them about the blueprints, and then head back out to Alexandria and hopefully be able to showcase you D1 Molten Tool and show you what they do.